YouTube. This is me, Tiffany, and I mean, um, and me and Tiffany and Tiff, and we're here with an all new scandal review. And Woo! oh my god, <laughs> let me explain something to y'all tonight. Let her explain. First of all, I've been waiting. For How like, long have you been waiting? Wait a minute, May, June, what? July, uh -huh. August, what? September. Five goddamn months! Count them again. Five! You, one, two, three, four, five! Five motherfucking months! Five! Oh, we ended with Old Lake. We brought the season back with Old Lake. We had Old Lake finger popping and who you like to ride in episode one. And now we got Liv stripped down to nothing but motherfucking boots, letting Jake Bell and having her in the goddamn hotel! Can you watch your elbow? You hurt me. <sighs> Tiffany, this is grab your ears and woosa. This is the time. Woosa. Breathe in. Woo! Breathe out. Woo! You can do this. Get yourself together for this video. I'm <laughs> sure the world is always hurting my feelings. You know what your cry look like? Uh, uh, girl from Love uh, and Hip Hop. Okay. We're back. We're here. Hey. I'm back is the YouTube post. So let's get into. Who was that? Yeah. In um, the that was an angry scandal fan who's still there. Okay. Calm down because you're really hurting. Okay. Me. So let's get into episode two. Hold on. That's a lot of notes. Yeah. I've been writing. I've been writing. So let's get into episode two, season four of Scandal State yeah. of the Union. Screenshot it just because you're a little bit too. And um, <laughs> let's just talk about some of the things I jotted down so I wouldn't forget them. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. The side and live talk in the beginning. Because, first of all, before I get to that, the little scene with Jake and Liv running. Shonda, you can keep that. I don't need this. I don't need it. Okay, so let, let me continue. So, um, from, you know, a lot of people saw the sneak peek, so we already knew what was going to happen on a little bench, you know. I'm excited to hear that Liv is checking on Fitz daily. It's not a surprise, but I will say this. Thank you, God, Shonda. For a minute there, I was starting to think that she forgot who Fitz was. Yeah, me too. I, I was happy to hear it. And let me tell you something, Cyrus. Yeah, it's not going to be one but too many times that you're going to keep threatening Liv or blackmailing her. I don't know. Can I you and something? your wig can go. He is, he's turning into Olivia. Like, because you know she'll pull up your past in a, a minute. Then Shonda got... Cyrus Bean. How old do you think Cyrus Bean is? Because I don't know if they ever said his age. In real life? No, on the show. That's what I'm saying. Real. Oh, not. I was. See, not I, Jeff Perry. See, I Cyrus thought Bean. The show was real life. No. I'm sorry. Um, Cyrus is pushing sixty. Definitely, he's definitely fifty-seven. Cyrus said he was craving meat. Shonda, that's what you had this old man say on TV tonight. That he was craving meat, but I. So does that mean that he's a bottom? I, I, you know, oh, I'm getting a sharp pain, y'all. I think I'm about to die on the camera. That's how mad I am. Okay, that's what I was about to say. Things? I thought that James was the wife and he was the husband. I thought the James bedroom, was the bottom, but, but um, they probably got you know. I, uh, I, I don't, don't want to know. Okay, so I'm excited that Andrew was back. I've been waiting on him. Drew, and, Drew. Drew, and I've come to the conclusion that we need Andrew to sweep Melly back off her feet in order for Olitz to work. Mm -hmm. We can't have Fitz. And I mean, it's good. It's good. Don't get can me I wrong. It's good that Fitz is taking care of his wife, but this is the strength. Can I tell from you something? What I need. No, to but happen. let me just say one thing. If Andrew comes back and sweeps Melly off her feet and he's the one to like fix her or help her feel better. And not fit. That's probably gonna punch him in the face again. Be ready for the fucking pansy ass tantrum that Fitz is gonna have because he's a fucking child. All right, that's enough of him. Okay, I'm just saying. Then can we? Oh damn! I think I done put a hole in my luggage. That's probably from falling out the floor too many. That's times. right. But um. <clears throat> Got a lot of Melly on this list, but start, let's start off with the first part of Melly. Melly and the goddamn chips. L listen here. Mm. 
I know, I know, I know this show is not real. But, and that's what I want to say for this part. You know, Melly didn't, I mean, real life, she didn't really lose a child. I, I don't want to sound insensitive. I'm ready for her to get the fuck up. I mean, even though... Did I say that last? What? Was, but did I say that last video? What? That I'm ready for her to be the I'm first I'm just lady. ready for her to she be the first lady. lady. She lost a child. I just yeah. said this episode yeah. 10. She's eating chips in a damn grave. Let's, let's not Hold forget. On. Why they name brand? Where the fuck they get them chips They from? was pop chips, girl. I ain't never heard. What? Then girl, let's girl. talk about Abby in this goddamn White House. Listen. Yo, Red thinks she is living. She See, needs a chip. We, what, what we need, we need Olivia Pope to train Abby as yeah. the, the White House secretary because she's not doing good. And it's like Cyrus is not doing anything about it. If it was anybody else, he, he did. Fire you know, her ass for now. Well, he can't really fire her. Well, I mean, he can, but who's, who are they going to get? But that can is trustworthy. You know what I always say? Get Olivia Pope on it. Olivia Pope is acting like she don't want nothing to do with the White House right now, though. So they got they they're gonna use Gabby. Okay, let's get into this um this Jake investigation. First of all, can I just say something? Because I'm I'm going to order how I wrote this stuff down before David actually got some balls in this episode. Jake makes David Rosen look like a child. Yeah. A bitch boy. David Rosen is his bitch boy. And Jake. I mean, are we sure that we... I mean, speaking as an old Lisa, I'm sure that I want Jake investigating because his ass is fucking with Papa Pope and he probably about to get a cat bust in his ass. So, But Jake, are you sure that you <laughs> yeah. want to start investigating this Harrison and adding all non Salif death? The thing about it is... What else is he going to do? His Be girlfriend is running around D.C. Well, his non-girlfriend is running around D.C. He's not had a big B-16 B-16 B-13 yeah, anymore. He it doesn't have his job to follow Olivia around from Speaking 15 more. Speaking of that. Like, what does he have to do? Speaking of that. I thought that the rule was you couldn't get out of B613. So how the hell are Quinn and uh, Jake out of B613? I have questions. Well, because <coughs> um, Quinn is out because when Quinn was in, she was under Jake. She wasn't under Rowan. And now Jake is gone. No, but still when... No, actually, Rowan was the first person that she was under. Oh, I forgot he yeah. was there first. I don't know. Okay. Um, next Olivia Pope did it. Next on the list, Mel Melly. I don't call her Melly. Melly. Fake scandal fans be like, Melly eating fried chicken. Can I just say something? I don't want y'all to get um, white America. Don't get any ideas. Yo, I don't Sandra need tweeted that <laughs> fried chicken was the new popcorn. I don't need y'all putting the popcorn up and Yo. pulling out the buckets of fried chicken. I'm ready. <laughs> it's not healthy. because. I wanted a piece of chicken with dinner so bad then to see Melly with a whole damn plate and wait and then Cyrus gonna pick up some chicken but can, and can I it. say the one that I was had my eye on he picked up <laughs> I was so like god damn you Cyrus fun fact the person who plays Melly um Bellamy Scott I mean, Bellamy Young why did I say Scott Bellamy Young um she's a vegetarian so they posted on uh Twitter that it was actually fake chicken so what it's is really fake good chicken? What is fake tofu chicken? Like, what is fake chicken? It looked like real chicken to me. Okay, let's get into the second sneak peek that most of us saw was when uh, Liv called Jake about staying in the hotel. He was like, is this the booty call? Listen, I don't need this. Like, I need this relationship to go. Like, I need... I, what's about to happen next week when he say, you're over here for a booty call, but I, you're not you're in love with another man? You're damn skippy. And I'm glad I'm, he knows. It's, it's, you damn way he know. She done told him a goddamn but yeah, but I'm saying I feel like all that sun and sand yeah, kind true, of, you know, true, like, true, you know, true. made him forget. And he probably really thought she was never going to return to D.C. Like they was going to do this sun and sand shit forever. So she's back now. So he, you know how, like, when you have to put yourself in check, like you have to put yourself in reality. That's what he's doing to himself. Hold up. It just hit me. What? The trail. Episode 106, Scandal Season 1, when Liv and Fitz had sex in the hotel room and she was knocked onto a goddamn dresser and knocked the lamp over. Did he Did he pull her up onto some type of dresser or something? Didn't he push her up on something? I think so. And was in between remember. her legs? Shonda, that's enough. First we got high, now you doing, no. Um, 
But she ain't show up butt ass naked. That's what she didn't do. Oh shit. She might as well have. I, I think I'm a bit jealous of Olivia Pope because I, I actually want Jake. I don't want Olivia oh. Pope to have Jake. I want him. Yes, that's right. I want to go to room 207. I don't um, want Jake. Like, can I tell you something too real quick? Just off the record. Don't mind my hair. Last um video, last scandal recap, my hair was a mess. Every scandal recap, my hair will be a mess because she falls I onto the damn it, floor. I fall and I roll around. But back to the show. Harrison's body. Listen, I didn't need that. That just feel my roots. Oh, I see him. I didn't need that. How did you feel about seeing Harrison's dead body? I mean, you it wasn't what? really Columbus short, but. I mean, we just it burned this man. It, it's just too much. Like, goddamn. I ain't keep like, saying art none, though. Like, me neither. But it was like, Harrison was family. That was like going to... You know how, like, when they let the family see the body just to make sure that that's them? Like, that's too much. That was like... Don't be disrespectful. Now, on to David Rosen again. I was feeling bad for Rosen because Scandal fans who know every episode know exactly where that lady came from when Harrison paid her to say that David Rosen beat her up True. so that Abby could dump him. And now that got him not able to be what he was supposed to be. Yeah. What was secretary or something? I don't even remember. That's State how much I something. can't stand him. But um, He's a jerk off. When he took his ass to the B613 files and did what he had to do. That's what I'm talking about. I was about. like, you better Olivia Pope this That's shit, what David. I'm talking you about. You better grow David. some balls. Wear a black hat. Wear the black hat. I wear the white hat. She wear the black hat. Huh, I love you. Um, I, I, I'll push that down to the bottom one because I just can't. Drunk Huck. Listen, I don't need this new shit. I don't, Huck doesn't get drunk. Huck doesn't get drunk, not off a of beer at least. He drinks something? whiskey, aka I, slice these mother. I kind of like drunk, um, Huck drinking because you have to bring some kind of normality to this man. He's yeah. a nut. Ball. Brandy was normal enough. Randy, Randy was not normal. Randy was normal. Randy was normal. Randy was not normal. I don't really know what to say Randy about, was like a about this whole Quinn and Huck thing. I ch you know what? Okay, so the thing with Quinn and Huck, it's like sexual tension. It's too much sexual tension. Ugh. They need to, she need to just let Huck beat the frame out of it real quick, knock the bottom out of it, and then they probably can get back to work. Now she know. They like licking faces and spitting on each other. I mean, and, and that's that's what I mean. If that's what you like, um, I I want Killer Huck back. I I don't I don't no thank you. And no. the fact that Olivia Pope didn't know that they had sex and she pulled his ass in the hallway. First of all, can I tell you something? The mm -hmm. only person who bitches Olivia Pope on the regular is Huck. Yes, it's Huck. I'm getting sick of Huck talking to oh, Olivia no Pope any old kind of way he wants. And it. what did she do? Not a goddamn, goddamn thing. thing. Abby gets smart. She reads. Don't touch me. Um, what was I supposed to say? Quinn gets smart. She sends her ass away. Like anybody else, she Huck goes off. She just give him a look. Who we got? Next? Like her feelings real hurt. I put fire Abby because I miss her. Fire Abby because I miss her. First of all, I don't want Abby in the White House no more. I don't want her in the White House because she's not badass Abby no more. She's yeah. not. We need her. Like we needed her for this case that Pope and Associates just had because obviously Quentin Huck can't handle it. Yeah. They don't. They're not normal. Yeah. Abby is the most normal gladiator that we have. So we need. I'm pretty <laughs> sure, but Harrison's gone. I'm pretty sure by the next episode, Harrison's gone. He's gone. Maybe he'll make another stomp the yard. I don't know. Oh, I'm God. pretty sure that she's either going to get fired or she's going to quit. She needs to get fired, though. I miss her, but and I feel like she's not like quit after the whole speech thing. Yeah. So. I just, I'm not, I'm not here for this, Abby. I'm, I'm over it. Um, the Abby Melly speech. I like she the Abby Melly speech. You know what she was doing? She was making Olivia Pope proud. I was gonna say she, she Melly, baby I mean, Olivia. Pope. I was gonna say she did what she would usually do in Pope and Associates, though. Liv taught her that. What right. else we got on here? Okay, let's get into this Olitz moment. First of all, I want to say this: I am this close, this close, this close. You see, 
You see the closeness? It's really not much left there. I'm this close to snapping if Shonda Rhimes puts a list at the end of another episode you and I don't snap get that? enough. Mm. No, I, oh, you know when I snap. I thought I did. Teach your ass how to get away with murder. Listen, I don't have time for this. Oh, lit, oh, lit, oh, lit. Like, why are we pushing them as if oh, they're lit. Oh, Dabby lit. or something oh, or lit. Huckleberry Quinn? Oh, lit is the show, god damn it. I don't like it. I'm tired of us being at the end. You know what? In 403, title inside the bubble, we better be at the goddamn beginning of the bubble. Okay, so um, as far as the Olitz moment, I mean, it was okay, but like I said earlier when I was predicting what was going to happen, because we knew that he wasn't just going to ask for the room, and then Olivia Pope was just going to be like, oh, Fitz, I missed you. Hell no! What do Olivia Pope do? Okay. No! Hold on, let's turn this <laughs> And then he had to shut her ass down as usual. I'm tired of it. It's uh, You know what? I, I, want, I wanted to tell y'all something. I started my co-worker on watching Scandal. She started on Friday. She started from season one and she just finished. Well, now she's on. She started, she's on episode uh, 302. Damn. Yeah. She moving on up. And I... What, damn, I lost my thought. What was I talking about? Shit at work. What was I talking about? I lost my thought. It was about Olet. Um. God damn it. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> okay, so the Olitz moment. Um, <laughs> you, you're, you're messing up my train of thought. The Olitz moment. Okay, so let's just let's just talk about the Olitz moment. Um, it wasn't long enough. It wasn't. Of long course, enough. we know knew that Liv was going to help him with work. I mean, she will turn down his love. Oh, that's what I was about to say. The reason why. Fitz and Olivia are not together. Tell them why, Tanea. Tell them. Because I told my co-worker earlier, so you tell them. How about you tell them? They're not together because of Olivia's stubborn-ass Pope. Think about it. Every time Fitz and Liv are supposed to sneak off or and make, make a plan or, be, or plan to be together or they try to have their little secret moments, Liv ruins it. She ruins it. She Liv's the reason why. They would have been kissing and hugged up in the corner. Why weren't they? Because of Olivia Pope. And then what did she do? She took a sexual sexual frustrations out on um Jake. Because That's she really wanted to do that somebody. with Fitz. I said, saying Fitz made her. But I was really excited that she did help him because he definitely needed the help. I mean, can you imagine what he would have said if he went out there without Olivia Pope's wisdom? I don't know, but she and did a good job. I, I, only a, a, a rocket scientist, it, a child could have said you need to address the nation on Melly. I mean, the bitches lost her mind. Talk about your wife. America yeah. is worried. Let me tell you something. If Michelle Obama start laying on grave sites and I see her eating Doritos, I'm going to have questions. I'm going to send a fruitcake and tell I'm friend. <sighs> Melly's return. <sighs> it should be more like... I was ready! So happy that she's dressed back up. Oh, but I knew that she was not 100%. Now, I was thinking about what you said. Because when Melly was coming out, you know, the State of the Union address. When she was coming out, Tanae was just like... He must have told her. Like, he told her that... He saw her. Remember, he was supposed to tell Melly when he saw her. But, um, no. It turned out to be Melly having another breakdown. Yeah, but I wasn't saying, like, he told her like that. I was saying, like, as far as the speech. Like, because the speech was so good. Like, it sounded like Olivia yeah, like, what you just said. Right, like, so that's what I had figured. Like, yeah, that's what I'm listening saying. listening to the speech, like, oh, shit, that bitch is bad. That's what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So, so, so with that being said, can we get into that scene of her having a breakdown? Let me tell y'all something. I hear the fucking Golden Globes call. I me. might not be the biggest Melly Grant fan. Oh, but that person that plays her, Bell, Bell Beyond. Me, Bells. You acted that part. My nigga, Bell. You better rip them pearls yes. off, girl. And then Fitz had to come. You know what? Maybe that's why we can't really get Olitz yet because... That's why I said Andrew needs to hurry up and come back. Because until Fitz doesn't have to keep babysitting his morning wife, his but she wife, wife, she might not be ready for Andrew yet. Because remember right before he died, they were all arguing because they saw mommy giving Uncle Andrew head. So, maybe sex will help her feel better. Who knows? 
Well, it's 1976 down there. Forgot about that. Um, Fitz's speech. <laughs> Fitz's speech was really good. I really, you know what? I'm loving. Now, I will say, aside from you know all the other bullshit, Fitz is being a good no, president right now. I, I will tell you that. He been watching Obama. Like, <laughs> and then the little crime scene. He's the shit right now. Perfecto. 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 What's the emoji? Liv taught you that, boo. Um, oh, Lake Sex. Okay, let's get into this because, first of all, I want everyone to know that that jacket comes from season one and season two. Make sure y'all, see, I pay attention to everything. They recycle the clothing, like that jacket that she had on, she's worn that before too. But anyway. Can I tell you something? Because everybody else hasn't watched each episode 50 times. But go ahead. I'm just saying. Plus, I followed the custom customer designer, so costume designer. Um, as soon as she came in, I had a feeling that, that it was kid. nothing under there because I didn't see anything right here. And I was just like, I know Shonda wouldn't end this episode like that. Like, Shonda's not going to do that to me. She didn't. Oh, but when Olivia Pope dropped that jacket and Jake Ballard threw her up against that wall and started... Can I tell you something? For me, that's the life goals. One day, I am going to be small enough to put on a trench coat and be un butt naked under it. See, this... Excuse me. <laughs> Can you scratch? <laughs> okay! <laughs> So, let, let's just say this, okay? As much as I hate Olake, are you done? Can you edit it out? No! Everyone's <laughs> going to see what you just said. Damn it. Even though, even though I'm against Olake, I'm not really against Olake. I just want live and fix I, them. Yeah, like, it's not that I'm against Olake. I just don't have I time just want, I want fix and live to be together because it just seems so right. Okay, so... This is where I come in. Tiffany, the human being. The person that plays Jake Bell and Scott Foley, he is sexy as shit. Every Monday, I could post him as my MCM. Let me tell y'all. So, that wasn't nothing but a turn on. And tomorrow morning, when I rewatch it, I'm going to rewatch it and rewatch it and rewatch it. Kari Washington and Scott Foley? Come on now. Awesomeness. But Shonda, you played. Now, Oh, I got right under that Jake gotta die. Why? Because Jake gotta die. The only way that we're ever going to get Jake away from Olivia Pope. Let's be honest here. Even if the, even if Fitz and Liv do get back together in like six, maybe seven, and have some makeup sex. Oh, Jake, you still I really Jake can't in mess with you no more. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh. He should give her, you know, he comes, you know, he always bring his... Little whiny ass to the door with Gettysburger. Liv, I got his Gettysburger. The oh, Rome wait a minute. Burger. Oh, you chose him. Jake, wait. No, I'm leaving. You know, when we get to that little part, we know that eventually Jake will be back. It doesn't take much. He's a side dude. He has no main chick. He, they, they didn't he give him a love interest. Chick. Maybe he the one that need to have sex you with Melly. I really don't know. But Jake Ballard, the only way we're really going to get rid of this motherfucker is he's going to have to die. I'm about to write um, Shonda because I feel like they need to bring Teddy on this show. Right in. And that's Teddy. From Grey's Anatomy. Han, you that could play. Be his I mean, not Han, um, Teddy. 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 Be his love interest. She love talks, she's trying to bring cast members from Grey's Anatomy. Uh -huh. um, last but not least, I have a question. Yes. Just one. Okay. <laughs> I know that we were all really hyped about Ellen's wife starting to play on Scandal and we saw the first episode. We was like, oh, Lizzie Bear. I have a question. What? Pick me. Your pick. Yes, ma'am. Who the hell is Lizzie Bear? I don't know. What Ooh. did she do? Somebody come into this video and she, does she, I mean, I know she, she's a Democrat. No, she's a Republican. She, I'm guessing she, does she work for Cy? I don't know what she does. I don't know who you are, Lizzie Bear, but I know that you're about to be in the way. Can I tell you something, though? Let's talk about Lizzie Bear. Oh, hey, did you talk about Cyrus yet? Because I... That... 
First of all, Cyrus flirting is disgusting. That was already enough. That's for like me. watching my grandfather flirt. Like that was nasty. already enough for me. I mean, I I am kind of happy that Cyrus's love interest is not ugly. I mean, that's a plus. But then the I end, like his teeth. When he was about to take it off, like really take it off and get it on on. Come on, y'all. I come on. Come on, Shonda. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, it's not even because they're males. It's, they're, he's old. Oh, as fuck. Can you imagine like, what his balls look like? They're probably saggy with veins. Like, I don't want to see that shit. What did you have to say? But I was just saying, once he finds out about Lizzie Bear and what the fuck she doing. Yeah. Lizzie Bear better hold on to her seat because Charlie is right around the corner. That's all I got to say. I'm excited about next week because, of course, Jake is going to shut Liv down. So, I'm always excited for that. I mean, Jake shut Liv down. Liv shut Jake down. I'll take either. But let's get into this hate person and love person of the week. Which shall we start off with? Hate or love? Love or hate? Um, hey, hate, hate, hate. Okay. Hmm. Who do I hate? Lizzie Bear. And she's not relevant enough. For me. Yeah, this is because I don't know what she's doing. Like I don't understand. Mm, I really don't hate anybody. Was it, was this week a good week? Just for the hell of it, I'm going to say Jake. He's too cocky. I'm getting tired of shit. Mm, that was I just really, no because I liked when he hung up on her ass when she was like, I don't like this. Well, don't like it. Quick, I was like, Oh, go ahead. He's picking him just because love person. Um, my love person goes out to a very special woman. Her hair is laid for the motherfucking gods. Her white was perfection. Her black was perfection. Her trench coat was perfection. Every bag was perfection. Her swoop was perfection. Her face, her lip gloss, her eyebrows, her skin complexion. If you don't say it quick, I'm going to... My love person goes to Olivia Pope! Because she's bad as shit! My love person goes to Fitz. Fitz too. Fitz, Fitz was definitely on his A game. This was a good episode. Give it up for this episode. I like this episode. I give it up for these cases too. I'm oh. loving the cases. I really don't have much to say about the case because I mean, I mean that was just too. Liv needs something hard. She yeah. does. Like she, she needs Cyrus to but kill somebody. Have, uh, I don't really say, but she know. don't even have like her investigator no more. Like, yeah. Invested. She doesn't have her litigator. Remember her litigator? Mm. Steven. Can we bring Steven back? Shit. I need some kind of male other than crazy ass Huck. Love this episode. Very excited that Scandal's back on. Can't wait for next um, week inside the bubble. Are they about to induct another gladiator like they did? No, they said her son won't be um, replaced. Well, I didn't say replace him. Oh, no. Um, and also, I'm wondering if Quinn is out of B613, and is she is she back with OPA? Like, I, I think she's really doing whatever the fuck she wants to. So on that note, we're going to end. But I want to give a shout out to everybody that watched that last video that we yeah. recap. Got a lot of views. A lot of people saying they love the show. We'll be here every Thursday to review, mm -hmm. and on Fridays we'll be re recapping uh, Grey's Anatomy. Also, want to give my shout out again for. Ooh. All right, come on, cause we about to have company. For people who um didn't see my recap video, my friend Ashley made me this beautiful shirt. It says "For the Love of Olivia Pope." So shout out to her. All right, so I want y'all to tell me y'all love people. I need y'all hate people, and I need to know what y'all thought about this episode. And I want y'all to know that from the minute Olivia Pope opened that door, I laid on the floor until I got to this camera. So make sure you share this video, yep. like. Uh, retweet, reblog, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell everybody that we're here to review Scandal. Yes. And as always, if you didn't know, now you know that there's no show like the show. Peace. Till next week.